Click Clack Moo. How's That Kite? By Doreen Cronin. Pictures by Betsy Lewin. Click Clack Moo. How's That Type? is a story about a farmer named Mr. Brown who runs into a few problems with his animals. His cows really want heated blankets for the winter, and Farmer Brown thinks that's crazy. He, the cows demand the heated blankets. Farmer Brown says no. So when Farmer Brown says no, the cows decide that they will not give him any milk. Later on, the hens decide to join the cows. They, they found out that the cows were demanding heated blankets from the Farmer Brown, so they decided they were going to type up a letter. A duck is responsible for taking notes between Farmer Brown, the hen, and the cows. The cows and the hen's final note was that they will exchange the typewriter for heated blankets. Farmer Brown decides that he will take the deal and decided to leave the blankets outside the barn door that night. A duck had a different plan for Farmer Brown. You're going to have to read the story to figure out what duck decides to do. So my favorite passage from the book was when the chickens and the cows got very mad at Farmer Brown because he told them no to get in heat and blankets. They put a sign on the barn door that said, closed, no milk, no eggs. I really liked this part because it was funny to see the cows react and talk to the farmer. And it really showed that they were taking no other answer other than yes to get their blankets. Kick the dust up. Kick the dust up. Uh -huh. Come on. One reason I liked this book, and it's a good high quality book, is because it's supposed to be humorous. The author did a great job at making the audience laugh and really get into the book that they are reading. Having the animals talk and make the farmer mad was one way. Funniest part of the book was when the animals would type to the farmer. They'd constantly say, click, clack, moo. Click, clack, moo. Clickety, clack, moo. The last thing that made it funny was when the farmer got locked out of his own barn by his animals because he wouldn't compromise with them. For example, sorry, we're closed. No milk today. <coughs> Color and texture are another element in the story that makes it a high quality book. The colors used in this book are actual colors that you would see on a farm. There was one page in the book where it was an all red background. This was because Farmer Brown received a note from the cows. He was furious because of what they were demanding. The illustrator used water paint in the story. I think this is a great idea for the age level intended because it gets them more interested in which shows the different texture, like straw. This would be a great example for a teacher to introduce what straw is and how it is used on a farm. There are two other elements that makes the story a high quality story. The characters in the book were what made the story funny and entertaining. Farmer Brown was the one that showed the most growth throughout the story because he realized he had a compromise with his animals in order to have a successful farm. The animals did a great job at sticking to their plan and not backing down in order for Farmer Brown to get his goods from them. The setting is another great element in the story to introduce the topic to the students. Farms are something that students learn about and the different animals that live on them. I liked how the author kept the setting the same throughout the book and just changed how the characters talked to tell the story. Cheers. I liked this book for a few reasons. I liked that it was funny and I really liked how it turned Farmer's Farm upside down. I enjoyed the book because it teaches a lesson to stand up for yourself and not get bossed around. This is the example of when Farmer Brown gets very upset because of the letter the cows wrote to him. You can definitely tell by the background and by the look on his face that he's very upset. You may really like this book if you're one that is a stubborn person, 
and one that likes animals that talk. This book does a great job at combining the two.